On this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your business logo to every single one of your pictures that you add onto your website, Google My Business, Profile, Facebook, Instagram. That way it protects your pictures from people trying to snag them, gives your business a more professional look, and it's super easy to do and completely free to do. Let me show you exactly how to make that happen. What's up there, guys? This is here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO, where I help small businesses, junk removal companies improve their online presence, build up a website, and get more business for their business getting found online. And today I want to discuss something that's a little kind of fun, a little more fun to do, and that is how to add your company logos to your photographs so that way when you're placing them on your website, on Google My Business, or on Instagram, it makes it look really professional, and in a way it protects your pictures too from other businesses going out there and snagging your pictures off online and placing them on their websites. It kind of adds a watermark of what you guys do. So I'm gonna show you the exact set process that I do. It's completely free to do, kind of fun to do. I'm gonna show you how I make that happen step by step. Let's take a look. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is basically just get your company logo off of your website. Whoever made you one, make sure that it's a PNG. A PNG means that it's a, it's a clear background. Everything goes through it. It's not like a picture in a picture. And sometimes you get one that's a, it's a called a, J, a JPEG. So it's a full picture. So you have to remove the background. So one of the first things I do when I build somebody on a website, I just grab their logo. For example, like this one here, Kansas City Asphalt. I'll copy that, that logo. And I visit a website called, let's go here, Remove Background. Remove BG. Super easy. You just go on here. You upload an image. So you, up the, you upload the image, place it on here, and just download it. See how it removes the background off of it? Now the background's completely off of this picture. Now you go on to the next step. So once you have your logo downloaded and removed the background, it's now a PNG, simply visit canva.com, create a free account, and you can do all kinds of different things with canva.com. I use it all the time for my thumbnails on my YouTube videos. Uh, when I built people's websites, I create all the pictures, I edit them on here. It makes it super easy, and kind of fun to do sometimes. So I'm going to show you how to do the, uh, create those pictures on your website here. So just go on to canva.com. There's a bunch of different templates you can pick. Just pick the Instagram one right here. Pick Instagram posts. And the reason I pick Instagram is because it creates a square. And then what I do is I resize them to make them smaller. I always use 500. You don't want your pictures to be too monstrously big because then it won't load up on your website that all that great. So resize. So now all your pictures are gonna be 500 by 500 pixels. The, things, the next thing you wanna do is like any pictures that you have about your business, your junk removal, trees, or whatever business that you're in, upload them onto Canva. There's a key right here, you upload. So you got a bunch of pictures uploaded on here. But I'll show you this as an example, this uh, asphalt paving company. Uh, let's see what we got here. So upload all the pictures that you have put them on to Canva. And then what you do is once you have this picture set up, you can just click on it and drag it onto here and then make it fit into this 500 square, 500 pixel square. The great thing about this is that when you do this, you're gonna make every single picture the, uh, the same size. So all your pictures, once you're all said and done, every single picture you're gonna have are gonna be 500 by 500 which makes it easy to set up on a website. So all your pictures are the same size. Everything you put on Facebook is the same size. Everything, everything's the same size. So you, you just eliminate that problem of cutting and editing, you know, editing your pictures. So it's really, really cool. So like that, so this picture set up and then you go to your logo, upload your logo as well, just like this one here. And you just place it wherever you want. Check it out, just go right here. You can resize it, make it smaller, change the colors. If you don't like that logo, get another logo, put it on here. But there you go, and you can place wherever you want it. Now, if you want to just duplicate, there's an option called duplicate, duplicate it. And there you go, your logo's still here, but now you can change this picture. Delete this picture, or upload a different one. And then you go back to my list here. So now I have another picture, watch, and I expand it to fit into this box, move it wherever I want. Right, boom, now the logo's still on there. And like I say, you could always move it to a different spot. And you just do that for every one of your pictures. 
um, save this file. So if you have more pictures, just keep uploading more, uploading more, uploading more, and you can always add that logo onto your onto your pictures. You could place the logo wherever you want and make sure the pictures look professional. Just like these guys now uh, on all their pictures have their, their logo set up on here. You'll see on here. And it makes it look sharp. And like I said, when people want to snag your picture, they really can't. Well, they're going to steal this picture here. Why would they do that? Their logo's on here. Um, and it, like I said, it protects your, your images. And it just gives you more of a professional looking look onto your websites and everything that you do, like I said, on, on social media, Facebook, and uh, Google My Business, that sort of thing. So pretty easy to do. It's completely free. It takes a little time, but it can be a little bit fun to mess around with. And like I said, it eliminates two problems. Um, resizing your pictures and make sure everything's the right size and then like i said protects your pictures from anybody trying to snag them so that's all i got for you guys today if you guys want more information on some of the things that i do i do i do offer website designs i do this kind of thing for you um i just uh, you'll have a link in my description um i also show you how you can do all of this stuff yourself build your own website do your own seo uh, also in that dis uh, in that link um but other than that that's all i got for you guys for today Till next time